beard is not cut. Jesus. <laughs> What is up everybody? This week on Your Favorite Christian, Anastasia and I are getting away for the weekend and we want to bring you along with us. So let's get ready to vacation. All right, everybody. So as you know, it was the uh, Christmas holiday. So it was, that's the Super Bowl of the church year. So it's pretty I like, nuts. I like when you say that. Super Bowl of the church. And we got the weekend off. So we're going to be hitting up a couple different locations. And while we're at these locations, we're going to be talking about what went down in 2019, 2020 from a relation goal standpoint, mm -hmm. what we're looking forward to, what we we're excited about before, and uh, just in trying to enjoy and to relax. And bringing you all along with us. Yeah, sunny Daytona. Just lovely weather. For all of you who want to see Daytona Beach, you see it on spring break trips. This is what it's like when you come around Christmas time. It's just an amazing shot of the uh, parking garage. Still waiting for the rain to go down. We venture off to go find a good place to eat for lunch in sunny Daytona. People chilling in the rain. People are so devoted. Can we go outside and sit out there with the people? Come closer. Absolutely not. I just got this haircut, guys. I don't want to mess it up. We could be dealing with that, but we're not. As we go into 2020, mm -hmm. what's going to be one relationship goal you want for us? We're going to have a big relationship goal, which is we're gonna have little baby. We actually, by the time you guys watch this vlog, I think yeah, we'll be six months, guys. Well, relationship goal is for us to keep loving on one another and still spending time together as a couple. That's that gonna be my goal. Hey. I'm serious. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. My goal was that we yeah. don't lose track of one another. Our, our date nights. The date nights, but also that I mean, this is awesome. The whole pregnancy thing is amazing for us to share in it. And next three months for sure yeah the romance that we have because they have good date nights and I really enjoy this time before life changes it'll be incredible but it'd be something different new we're on the streets of Daytona Beach we saw a window of no rain and here we go let's see how long it lasts this pregnant woman needs to use the restroom <laughs> then why won't you use the restroom because some of these restrooms are nasty if you you know what I mean like I don't know if I'm just irritated being pregnant but I hate I've always hated dirty restrooms my babe is more of a Ritz Carlton bathroom kind of girl not really like I just she like, likes five-star bathrooms if I go to a restroom if I go to a restaurant I want to go to your restroom and the restroom is dirty I'm leaving we actually need to start getting the baby room ready we need to start that's like a new year thing that we have to do we have not done anything for the baby I know some people are like, oh, how what is she going to be your theme? We still haven't done anything, so we need to get a baby room ready. All right, so now we actually finally made it to the water. This is as far as Anastasia will go. Have some adventure. Babe, where are you going? Come on. Where are you going, babe? Why are you staying over there? She won't move. Don't you think she should be coming to the water with me to check it out? Oh, look, she's coming. Pull her in. Pull her in. I just want to go relax right now. Let's go to our hotel where we have chairs and, and the water is right by our room and just go there and I'll watch you from there. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Day three of our little getaway, two nights in Daytona. Now we're on our way to St. Augustine. Many of you wanted to know how I'm feeling in terms of the baby. Um, he's doing well, I'm doing well. But there is something about three, actually three to 6.30, he decides to wake up or kick around that time. I know he's supposed to be sleeping over 14 hours a day, but he seems to wake up at six, six, between three and six. So between that kicks, and then the pressure, you know, down below <laughs> of, you know, constant using the restroom and coughing and sneezing and not feeling well. It was a rough night. But I woke up feeling a little better. You know, I know someone asked, why do I drive? I get car sick if I don't drive. The goal I wish upon Anastasia for 2020 is to learn how to ride a bike. It is my dream yes, that I we could do. go to family bike rides. Now that maybe we got a little one on the way. 
it scares me. I feel like I can't balance on it. So he bought me a bike and I haven't I like, bought her a bike for 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 Christmas. our for was it no oh, for our Christmas. wedding. What for a wedding? It was a wedding present. Now it's a rust present. So if you don't know, my husband has a one-man show. So my prayer in 2020 is that you know he start taking it further as he wants, and our little boy get to see daddy doing his thing. Thank you, honey. Do you think there's actually going to be time and space for something like the one-man show to really blossom now that our lives are going to change dramatically? The reason why I think so is the fact that this started before the baby. I don't think that certain dreams that you already have been sold to do should go away. I think one thing we're going to learn as a parent is that we both have a lot of aspirations, a lot of uh, dreams, a lot of things. And Anastasia wants to get her PhD. And he wants to get his PhD. So there's, that's a tremendous amount of work. That's money. And then there's one man show, uh, doing this vlog. You know, all, all these things, there's a podcast that we're going to learn real quickly uh, what, what is the true balance of it. And oh, oh, by the way, there's also jobs. I think the best piece of advice we've gotten so far from someone was don't think that you can kind of fit the baby into your life. Your life's going to change. You're going to see what you can bring along with you because the baby is the main show. We are currently now at Anastasia's namesake. Say it again. So we are at Anastasia State Park. We've uh, been trying to come here for so long, and now we're finally here. It is a huge, it's not just a park, it's a huge land. like these. <laughs> I was not. I was born in a concrete jungle. We have a limited amount of time before Anastasia is about to tap out. It's so nice. It's so beautiful that I'm like, I want to see everything. Uh-oh. Little Ashanti love. I should be like, and then you should push it right there. Ashanti. I'm like, yeah. St. Augustine is amazing. We can't wait to get back here. Daytona is, eh. mm. but it was still nice to get away to be uh, with one another because in three months it's all going to change. So thanks for being here and listen. Subscribe if this is your uh, you know first subscribe. time or if you haven't subscribed before. Subscribe. We're trying to reach 100k. And we want to just keep on inviting you along to all the different fun events we're doing uh, leading up to the birth of baby boy. Well, God bless you. We'll see you next Monday here on your favorite Christian. Shh.